So for today, we're going to be looking at all of my guardians and I'm going to be incorporating the dino armor for pretty much everyone. Not everyone is going to be dino themed. Uh, most of them are just going to be, I think this looks really cool with this class. Aside from the hunter, the hunter specifically, I went with a dino theme because he has enough pieces to actually make it work. So this is my hunter. I have was obviously going for a dino look uh, aside from the actual armor set. So first and foremost, I was going out. I had to go for the combination of the helmet and or the helmet and the cloak just so I can get that like that roar look that I was going for because it looks like it's about to eat you. Although I have seen other hunters rock the Graviton forfeit with it, which I think looks really cool. You definitely would want to combine this with a purple shader to make it look really cool. But I think this looks super dope. I just decided not to use it because uh, I already had an armor set in mind. The sealed Ahamkara grass, I think looked really good with combination of the shadow strides. So obviously helmet looks super cool uh, i kind of wish the lower jaw wasn't connected to the chin because i feel like if that wasn't there this helmet would would be so fucking dope uh claws of hump or not claws uh <clears throat> sealed on car grasp i think look really cool they're one of my favorite uh arms in the game from destiny 1 to destiny 2 i still love them even though they got nerfed and I was obviously going for the claws here, but I also think that the bone thing here also kind of looks like, not scales, but like, I don't know, it kind of just makes it look even cooler in my opinion. The chest piece, it's a funny story. I was actually recording this video previously, and this is this this chess piece has been, has been through a journey so started off with this one which i was like eh, it looks okay like it doesn't look bad in my opinion i just feel like i could get something better then it just went to it with this one <clears throat> which i'm not gonna lie i actually do think this looks cool i just wanted to not have any like iconography here which is why i didn't choose uh this one either because it has the hunter insignia so then it went to this one and I was like, man, this looks really cool. A shader was different, but I was like, this looks really cool. I want this one. And then I found the one that I'm currently wearing, which is this one. And I was like, this looks way better. I feel like the the pokey bits at right here just are way better, like texture for this look. <clears throat> Although you, there can be an argument to be said that the padding here matches the padding here somewhat or this here as well. I could see that, but I feel like this one just is a little bit better. Uh, obviously, the shadow strides is the first thing I thought of. This this is actually the first thing I thought of. The claws because I use these a lot, and in combination with the claw or the seal Ahamkara grasp, I think is just like a match made in heaven. And it makes you look like you're about to like stab someone with like your claws. Uh, obviously, I had to go with different shaders aside from the Gamma Jade Stone because I wanted the helmet and the cloak to be same color, which I think I nailed this. I think this is super cool. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. I am a little salty, though, because on like the first day this armor came out, I designed something like this. It wasn't like exactly the same, uh, but I think the chest piece and the shaders were different. And not even kidding, I'm a part of a Discord. Uh, muffin bandits discord and i was gonna put i was gonna post this for the contest but unfortunately someone already posted it so i'm a little salty about that but at the end of the day i think it looks really cool i'm very happy with it let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh do you guys think it looks cool i think it looks super dope and you guys could probably like for my longtime viewers you guys are wondering like you're using two pieces of an armor set yes i am uh the reason why is because i feel like these two are very like inseparable so i had to use them but <clears throat> I think I only do that for this class. Uh, the Titan and Warlock, I think, are using other pieces. So let's, speaking of Titan and Warlock, let's go to the Titan real quick. So this is my Titan. Uh, one of my favorite Titans I've done. I'm not even kidding, guys. This looks super fucking cool to me. I'm very proud of this one. <laughs> so I was going for, like, immediately I started going for a a minotaur look which we do have pieces for the minotaur look if i wanted to go for it my only issue was the fact that the celestial greaves aside from the helmet <clears throat> has these like constellations that glow and i was thinking like maybe i should go through all the shaders to see if like there's one shader that doesn't shade them but i didn't want to do that like at all so i just decided not to use them 
and I just decided to use the Nemi instead. So let's go uh, from the top bottom. Obviously, Celestial Helmet, I think this one's super cool. I've never used it just because I've been waiting to like find the right fit and I think I found it. Uh, I really, really love how it looks. <clears throat> it also just gives that vibe of like, like it's menacing. Uh, for the arms, I'm actually using the Dino Set. So the reason I'm using the arm is because I've seen a lot of people use like the helmet, the helmet, the chest piece and the legs. Not a lot of people are using the bond or the arms. So I decided to like really try to use the arms. I first essentially tried to use like the legs and the, and the chest piece, but I just did not find anything that fucked with it until I found this. And I think this looks really cool. Chest piece I'm using the this season's uh, season pass armor just because the fur really lends itself to the helmet it makes it really look like you're a minotaur in my opinion <clears throat> for the legs i'm using the nemean set like i said i did think about using the celestial Greaves so I, that way i can look like a minotaur but i decided against it not only that i think this looks super regal so it really does fit well with the whole set as well aside from like maybe the arms don't fit that well with this because the arms don't look regal but in my head it's more of a like the horns match right here with this and then this portion actually does fit with the bottom in my opinion because it's very angular which is why i chose these two and then last but not least i have this mark is from season three yeah season three which is war mind <clears throat> i decided to use this one because essentially i was gonna use i had the this one i, I had the nemean mark but i decided to use another one just because i didn't want to use the nemean set twice which then i thought oh fuck i have this one and i I'm, I'm totally in love with it i may change it for like a, a little bit more bulkier on the sides or like maybe like this maybe but i feel like at this point the hips become way too wide in my opinion so this one just keeps keeps everything all like it's it's so good in my opinion like it keeps everything not looking too bulky is what i mean so like like i said with this one the hips become too big which makes it kind of look like the bottom is too big for the top and with this one it really it really lends itself to not make it look like that so this is my titan you might have noticed that i'm not wearing an exotic yeah it was actually really hard to find an exotic that well went well with like the dino set and i just decided i'm just gonna go for a non non-exotic armor look and i think i nailed it out of the park i think this looks super cool and i'm very proud of myself uh so yeah let me know your thoughts and comments below titans did i do you guys justice or not i i know some people are already gonna tell me oh you have a female titan easy mode i know but we also have some difficulties with some armor sets as well so it's not all easy unfortunately so let's go to my warlock and then we'll be done so this is my warlock uh <laughs> Oh my god. So I am also pretty proud of this one, not gonna lie. So this one came out of the chest piece. I wanted to use the chest piece just because I know a lot of people have been using the chest piece, but I feel like that was the best thing to go to do for to I thought that was the best thing to use going forward because as much as I do like the helmet actually, now that I'm like it's growing on me, I do like the helmet. I didn't want to use it just because I didn't want to use it essentially like i do think the helmet looks super cool but i didn't want to use that this time around i wanted to use the chest piece because i feel like the chest piece a i love it a lot more but b i was going for like different looks in my head and obviously i was going for spiky right here 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 i was thinking about using another one which i will show you in a bit but first one is wraith i think yeah no wrath trail hood which is from season of dawn it's a pretty cool helmet. Uh, obviously, I chose it because it has horns and it's melding really well with the horned look that I have right now. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite helmets for the Warlock just because I feel like it's super cool. Uh, the shaders are hit or miss most of the time just because uh, it really depends on what you get for the faceplate and the back. So some shaders do well, some shaders are pretty, pretty terrible in my opinion. So like this one looks pretty cool uh this one looks pretty cool as well this one's okay uh so yeah it, it very much depends on it and i think uh this is completely dope i th I love that the carbon fiber is actually up in the front because at the back you can see all of the orange uh 
speaking of orange i actually went with the genotype null zero which is from also uh warmind specifically the the activity i forget what it's called at the top of my head but i use this because the chest piece actually has orange lining which is dumb as hell and i wanted to incorporate that into the actual look which i think i did really well because the carbon fiber and the orange goes well together because obviously everything else is carbon fiber and orange uh, for the arms i wanted to use the season of the splicer uh, light king gloves just so i can co combine it with the chest piece up here and i'm very happy that the brown also looks the same as this brown this is definitely super cool obviously you could use anything you want at this point uh, i think this looks super cool but it's also because it's part of that armor set uh, but you could use pretty much anything else if you guys don't want to use uh the light can armor set because i do understand people that's people do crutch on that now because it has fur on it but again i think if you have fur somewhere else you definitely want to have fur down here just to like equalize it for the boots this is funny i actually I was actually going through like some boots that i wanted to go through and immediately i went with this one this is the first one i went with and i was like yeah that's that's cool but i've noticed that i crutch on these boots a lot and these boots a lot so i'm not vetoing myself from using it but i'm gonna try to use them less it, only when it's like this fits so perfect together and this didn't fit together perfectly this is like this is very lazy so i decided to go somewhere else and i'm happy i did because this is actually the mars armor from again warmind i'm using a lot of warmind pieces so i think the leg piece is pretty cool i didn't want the leg piece to be anything too fancy because i feel like the chest piece is like the front and center showcase so i didn't want the chest piece or the legs to be crazy at like at all and i think i nailed it i love the fact that there's buckles that are orange and that's it that's all there really is i was gonna go for this bulkier one right here but i just did not like it at all it is bulkier and i appreciate that but I wanted some orange down there so that way it could equalize a little bit like there's orange down here there's orange up here uh, there's no orange here aside from like that little line there but let's be real that's nothing so yeah I'm very happy with how all of this came out and last but not least the actual arms or the bond I'm I'm either or I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was gonna go for this one and I still might actually just because it's spikier but it's spikier in a different sense like this is spiky like like angled spike this is just a line spike i know it's small and dumb but that's the first thing i i saw and it bothered me i was gonna use this one as well which looks good i just pisses me off that you can't change the bone color of it which is why like literally you cannot do anything with this mark when it comes to shaders like nothing so that's unfortunate and yeah it's pretty much it oh maybe maybe but that's pretty much it those are my classes let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i actually think my hunter is thematically the coolest i think i just nailed it out of the park with her or him but i also think the titan just looks better overall like i it just looks good i don't even have to try to make it look cool because it does look cool uh has no exotic so that's a that's a fault for me i think like if you can make something look good with an exotic i feel like that's way better because exotics are very thematic and they're hard to work around but i feel like for the titan i could probably just use the mark 44 standicides and that'll give it that same like regalness and for the warlocks i think this looks really cool i'm very happy with what i did um this one wouldn't be too hard to give it to an exotic as well like specifically i could just probably give her like an arm or like maybe the claws of ankara which in hindsight i probably should have used that uh let me see <clears throat> yeah this looks pretty cool actually because you actually get claws here as well but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. 
I will have more fashion videos to come. I will have a lot of fashion videos because I've been really getting into fashion. I've been posting my fashion stuff on my Twitter and my Instagram. Links are in the description below. And I will be posting little videos on other platforms as well. So be looking out for that. I will have other content. I have so much planned. So be safe, guys. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.